close your eyes and try to find some pleasure in the breath. When you breathe in, what way of breathing in feels good? What way nourishes the body? The more nourishment you can get with the breath, then the less you need from outside. And the reason we're constantly going around looking for things outside, looking for approval from people outside, looking for whatever from outside, it's because we're feeling hungry inside. And yet here's a source of food for the mind, which we tend to overlook. So let's make the most of it, because that way we get to embody one of the principles that the Buddha taught to his aunt when she was first ordained. She asked him, okay, give me a brief teaching that I can go and practice with. And one of the principles he taught her was to be unburdensome. In other words, you don't place burdens on other people. And the way we go around trying to feed off of other people is one of the ways we place burdens on them. So if you feed more inside, then there's less of a burden on others. And this translates into all the things we do. You make a mess, you clean it up. You don't leave it for others. You try to figure out what way you can live in this world that's as unburdensome and as light on the world as possible. Try to embody this in all you do. And that way you find that life outside gets better, life inside gets better. And you begin to realize that what you really need in this life is right here inside. The nourishment the mind needs for its well-being, for its sense of just plain old pleasure, a lot of that can be taken care of inside. And the more you do it inside, then the less you have to use up the world's resources, the less you have to use up other people's emotional resources. That's how people learn how to get along. So try to be as reliant as you can on your own inner nourishment. And that we walk lightly through the world.